were, you know, cons at least taking a close look at Lee last mm -hmm. at the end of last week. Not not yeah. so much this morning. It's going to make that turn. I mean, we know, you know, we're still watching it because, you know, it's something to watch. It's just offshore mm -hmm. and it still could make some sort of landfall. In we, we that's very uncertain if it's going to be more towards Nova Scotia and Canada okay. or maybe Maine. So okay. now by then it's not going to be a category three hurricane, sure. but nonetheless, it'll be a major storm for parts of uh, the far northern tier of the northeastern US and into Canada. So yes, and Bermuda. Also, Bermuda is going to see some impacts uh, with Lee. Now, Lee's eye has shrunken, and so it looks like it's hitting some wind shear. You can kind of tell on the northwestern quadrant that Lee is hitting some wind shear because it's, uh, those outer bands are feathering out. There's possibly some dry air, too, as also uh, you can tell there aren't that many thunderstorms on in the northwestern quadrant of Lee. Now, Lee is a Category 3, so it's a major hurricane right now, and on the forecast cone later today could upgrade to that Cat 4, but it's going to struggle a bit because it's not going to last as a Cat 4 for too long. As you see, it makes that northerly turn later Tuesday. It downgrades to a Category 2. So Lee, you know, for us, thankfully, well away from Florida, away from the Bahamas. Any impacts that we get indirectly will be along the coast. Coastal areas will see some higher swells or higher surf swells out there on the water and obviously some dangerous rip current risk along the eastern seaboard. This is Tropical Storm Margot. This is actually situated in the east central part of the Atlantic Ocean moving northward, not an impact to land. We got two other waves that could develop. The way that will eventually move in the area of orange could become the next tropical depression by the weekend.